Hey, you guys. Um, so as promised, we are going to talk about the new product that is launching September 1st. And I cannot wait to show you guys this new product. What do you think, Tim? Is it going to be a rock star? He says yes. He's so shy. Isn't that ridiculous? So um, first things first, it's a judge-free zone. If you're looking around my kitchen and saying, oh my gosh, Becky's kitchen is not clean. Yes, that's probably accurate. Um, life is a little crazy right now. So, you know, first things first, always. All right. So let me see if any of my lovelies are going to hop on here with me. Um, I'm surprised. You guys are probably cooking dinner though, just like I am, you know, cause that's the way it goes at five 30 at night. We're all cooking dinner. Um, and you know, doing our things. So let me, ah, what is going on? Why is it not? Oh, there it goes. Hey Amber. Hi Teresa. How are you guys doing tonight? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. Um, so let me know if you guys have ever heard of an Instapot before. Um, it's kind of a product that's been around for a couple years, um, basically a pressure cooker. Um, lots of people have experience with them, some positive and some not so positive. And so Pamper Chef, um, you guys know in the last like year to year and a half, they've been starting to develop some brand new electric products. The very first being our wine opener, which everybody loves. And if you don't have it, you definitely need it if you're a wine drinker. Um, and so they've kind of, you know, continue to carry on in that line with um, making some more solutions for your kitchen that are electric. Hey, Emily, how are you? Um, and so something that they've been wanting to develop for a while has been a pressure cooker. And so Instapot, of course, came out with theirs first. And, you know, what they've learned is it's really not the best to be the first on the market always because we actually get to kind of take a step back and learn um, from the pros and the cons of other products um, when you're not the first on the market. So that's kind of what they did with this. And part of the reason they did that is because um, since Instapot came out with theirs, they've been able to actually add on some different technologies with ours that Instapot does not have. So I'm going to show you what we've termed R2D2 because he's so cute and it makes this adorable little noise, which you guys will hear. Let me plug it in. Um, so I'm going to kind of walk you guys through what it looks like. So here is our brand new, it's called our quick cooker. Okay. So you'll see that, you know, it's very sleek in design, um, very contemporary looking. Um, it's got lots of different features down here on the bottom. So if you guys are just hopping on, um, let me know if you've ever cooked or have an Instapot. Um, so down on the bottom, you guys will see there's a searing, a steam, a slow cook, a proof, which um, we're the only pressure cooker that's going to have the proof setting. Um, chicken and poultry, beef and pork, fish and seafood, soup and stock. And then you've got white rice, brown rice, whole grains. You've got your beans, your stew, your chili and dessert. So lots of different functionality there. So what that does is basically it lets you, you know, cook any kind of um, protein or grains or um, even dessert. I mean, come on, I can make a cheesecake in a pressure cooker and it's amazing. My husband, he'd probably eat it for breakfast, wouldn't you? The cheesecake. Yeah. So anyway, um, so I'm going to make some fettuccine Alfredo tonight. Um, everybody likes fettuccine Alfredo, right? This is actually going to probably be one of my show recipes for fall um, because it's fairly quick and easy. What I love, I'm new to pressure cooking. I've never pressure cooked a day in my life before this product came out. Um, I'm pretty old school with the way I cook. But what I love is that if you are a busy person, this is the solution that you need. You know, how many of us, we get to dinner time and it's like, oh my gosh, I didn't take anything out for dinner. Yeah, that's us almost every day of the week. And so you can take frozen meat and pop it in here and still be able to cook it, you know, in a matter of 15 minutes and have a fresh dinner instead of going through a drive-thru. So I'm going to pop this back around so you guys can see. Um, I'm just going to open the lid and I'll show you kind of the guts of it. That sounds gross, doesn't it? And listen to this cute little noise it makes. Do you guys hear that? It's so adorable. That's why we call him R2-D2. 
So you've got um, the pot which goes inside, okay? It's a nice stainless steel pot that rests down inside here. And then the other thing that Pampered Chef developed uh, that you can't find with other um, pressure cookers of the same kind of variety is that they've also come out with accessories. So we have um, a springform pan that fits into our pressure cooker, which again, no other company has. Um, it comes with a rack. And then we also have a little ceramic pot with a silicone cover. So that way you can do pot and pot cooking. What I mean by that is you can actually cook, let's say your roast beef and your carrots down in the bottom and up in the top, if you put in your ceramic pot, then you can cook your mashed potatoes on top. So you literally have one meal cooking at the same time in one vessel, which I love. So it's a set it and forget it kind of deal. Okay. So let me hook you guys up here and we're going to start cooking. What do you guys think? So who has experience with a Instapot? Hi, Kim. How are you? Hey, Brandy. Hi, Brooke. Who else is on with us? You've been scared of Instapots if you're being honest. You know what? I'll be honest with you. I was extremely, extremely afraid to use this um, because I've never cooked with a pressure cooker in a day in my life. And what I love is Pamper Chef has really made this product easy for us. It's not so high tech that even someone of my skill set, which is not very high um, in the technology world, can use this pot. Um, the other thing that I love is there is an exclusive cookbook that comes with it with recipes. Let me show it to you guys. <clears throat> So when you purchase the quick cooker, um, you actually get this whole recipe cookbook of different recipes that you can do. And what I love is that they've showed you how to do beans, hard boiled eggs, how to make a salsa chicken. You've got times and measurements for everything from your beans and legumes to grains and rice. You have all of your vegetables and how to cook all of your vegetables all of your meat and how to cook every kind of meat, both from fresh, you guys will see from fresh, and also from frozen, okay? So you've got the best of both worlds. You can do it from fresh or you can do it from frozen. And then after there, it's nothing but page after page of recipes that Pamper Chef has perfected for our quick cooker, okay? So I know some of the questions I'm gonna get. So what did Kim say? I've had one for a year and have been afraid to try it, but not Pampered Chefs, it looks easier. It's so easy. I'm telling you people, we have a lot of consultants that have had Instapots um, for a long time, and they said it's so much easier, so much more um, user-friendly than what an Instapot is. And I think with our um, accessory pieces, that's really what's gonna make it nice, um, is that you can do pot and pot cooking without having to, you know, make, without having to make little like um, aluminum foil vessels and all that crazy crap that I see all over Pinterest. Um, the other thing that I like is that all of our recipes that they have developed are actually tested and tested and tested, okay? So they took this product as they were creating it and they let about five um, consultants test the product. They tested all the recipes over and over and over again until they got them perfect, okay? And so that's not what you're gonna see. Like if you go on to um, Pinterest and find Instapot recipes, the, the thing about Instapot recipes on Pinterest is that those are basically only tested one by one person through a blogger, um, and so they're not perfected. And so, you know, that's kind of the nice thing is that you're starting with this product. You have recipes that are tested and, and proven that work perfectly in our vessel. Um, and then, you know, it's the perfect solution for you guys with your crazy busy schedules. So for me, the best part is that in September or in the month of October, you can get this bad boy for 60% off. Hello, how you doing? Just saying. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start cooking. Let me see if I can get this a little bit closer for you guys so you guys can see um, what I'm doing over here. Because I want you guys to be able to actually see down into the pot. 
kind of, sort of. <laughs> so what are you guys all making for dinner tonight? All right, so we're gonna take, I'm gonna turn it onto the sear feature. Okay, and so with me putting on sear, the inside of the stainless pot is gonna start to get hot and it does not take long at all, okay? So we're gonna throw in a quarter of a cup of butter because fettuccine Alfredo must always start with butter, right? Um, and guys, this is not a skinny version of fettuccine Alfredo at all, okay? There's nothing skinny about this. <clears throat> so we're gonna wait until our butter starts to melt and then we're gonna pop in three cloves of garlic with our garlic press, okay? So we're just gonna simply pop those in. There's one. Oh, I love the smell of garlic. Does anybody else love this, the smell of garlic? There's two. And then there's three. All right, so we got all of our garlic in. Now I'm gonna smell like garlic for the rest of the night because I don't know where my little garlic doodad went. But that's okay. Okay, so we've got the sear turned on. We're going to let our butter start melting. Let me see what questions you guys have while we're waiting for that to start melting. Butter equals love. You're so right, Miss Brooke. How much for full price for the set? Um, let me grab the catalog because I'm not sure off the top of my head um, how much it is. Tim, can you hand me the catalog? It's right there on, yeah. So I'll check the set price for you and the um, quick cooker price by itself. So I will tell you, um, kind of like, you know, some of our tools, I was a little kind of, ah, price-wise. Um, but then when I thought about all of the advantages of cooking with this kind of equipment, um, it really is like putting a $20 investment a month aside, you know, for dinner or um, how many of us spend more than $20 a month running through a drive through um, And so when I thought about it that way, you know, it, yeah, it's right now it affects your bank account, but long-term you actually save a lot more money. And then with the benefit of being able to host a show and get it for half price, you know, and then you're also getting a consultant to help walk you through how to use the product, you know, all the ins and outs of it. Um, you get the personal service where you're not going to get with a regular Instapot. So, all right. So the quick cooker by itself is $240. Um, the quick cooker and accessory set is $285. So with the accessory set, you get the quick cooker, the springform pan, the ceramic pot, and then you also get the wire cradle, okay? So, and then like I said, you get a full recipe book for the actual product too. All right, so finally, yes, I know! I've been waiting and waiting to have time to show you guys. Oh my gosh, that's all, yeah, 285. So 285, that would be the quick cooker plus all the accessories for it, plus the cookbook. Um, and then, like I said, if you host a party in September or October um, with our host specials, you can actually get it for 60% off. Um, so you're paying like 100 bucks for it, like 100 and I, I can't do math that fast in my head. Um, I think it would be like $120 or somewhere around there. So, you know, you can't beat that. All right, so what we're doing. All right, so we set it on sear. You guys see my little light there. Um, it's on countdown. It starts a countdown whenever you do one of the functions. It automatically programs in a time for you. But then you'll see here in a couple of minutes that I can actually adjust it to my own custom setting. Okay. So down in here, you guys see that we're already starting to cook. Let me grab a spoon real quick. I'm so excited. 114. Thanks, Brooke. <laughs> Thanks for doing my math for me. You rock, girlfriend. All right, so we're just looking for the butter to melt, okay? And then the garlic, when you smell the garlic, you know you're done. So we're gonna switch this over, okay? One, two, we're gonna hit cancel. 
and then we're going to do a custom time. Now, if I was just going to make like, let's say chicken fajitas or something like that, then I would adjust this over to the chicken and poultry setting, but I don't want that. I'm going to actually do a custom time for this recipe, and then I'm going to hit the time button, and I'm going to go down because this recipe is only going to take about 11 minutes to cook fettuccine alfredo. Actually, I think I'm going to do 10 minutes and then see where it's at. So once you um, have your time set, let me put this right here again. Whoop. My ceiling right now because I forgot to flip the button. We're going to add in our heavy cream. Yum. I told you guys this is not a skinny recipe at all. And then we have two cups of chicken stock. And then we have a box of fettuccine noodles. So we're, we're gonna make this a little bit different than your standard, regular, everyday fettuccine because we're gonna hook it up with chicken and with bacon. But I didn't have a lot of time, so we grabbed a rotisserie chicken um, at the grocery store. So we're just gonna pop our noodles down in there. Um, I recommend breaking them in half. My Italian friends would probably smack me right now. You always want to cook with liquid when you're cooking with a pressure cooker because that's how it builds its steam. All right, and then we're just going to kind of stir this around to make sure that all of the noodles are covered by the liquid. Let me show you guys what that looks like. All right, so we've got all of our noodles down in our the butter, garlic, heavy cream, and chicken broth mixture, okay? Everybody with me? All right, so we're gonna take our lid, and it's gonna make that cute, adorable little noise again if I put it on correctly. When you turn, oh, there we go. So it's, when we turn it, it's gonna lock on place. It's gonna make that cute little noise. So I wanna show you the features that Pampered Chef has built in that Instapot does not have also as far as safety, okay? Because for me, these are the biggest features um, and one of the personal reasons why I would buy this product over an Instapot. So we have a pressure valve here, okay, you guys see this? We have our steam release button here. And so with ours, ours is designed that the steam actually goes away from you, where with Instapots, it's not such, okay? Um, the other safety feature that I like is the handles are not on the top. They're actually built in on the bottom, so your hands are always away from, away from the heat, okay? The third safety feature that I love is that the finish on the outside does not get hot when you're cooking with it, okay? So for me, with being a mom of four, that for me says enough about the product, okay? All right, so we have our custom time. We're set to 10 minutes. These little lines right here are showing that it's, it's a high pressure recipe, okay? And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna hit start. <clears throat> so when we hit start, this is gonna circulate right here as it's building the pressure, okay? So it's actually not cooking. Um, you always wanna make sure before you do that that this button is flush with the handle and that this button is flush with the handle, okay? So this should not be raised at all. This should not be lowered at all. So. If you hit this button down, it actually rate, or lets the steam out, which raises this up. If you hit it again, it closes the valve. So you always wanna make sure your, your valve is closed before you hit start on your machine, okay? So right now, if, as long as this is circulating, that means it's building pressure. When the pressure is built, this is gonna change over to a countdown mode. And so it will go, because when I set the custom time, it said 10 minutes, it'll start counting down from 10. Does that make sense? So, pretty slick. Um, I will come back live with you guys when it's ready so that you guys can see the finished result of it, um, how to release the pressure from it, okay? Um, so, if anybody has any questions, though, keep commenting down below on it. Um, if you're not scheduled for a September or October party, let me know and we can go ahead. I can grab my calendar. We can get you guys on there. Um, if you do have questions, though, make sure to ask. I'm telling you guys, we have made some of the most amazing food. 
um, in this pressure cooker and it's saved me a ton of time so far. So, all right guys, I will come back with you guys when it's all ready.